Hi guys! So tonight me and my husband are going on a trip to Baltimore for the weekend for July 4th. Um, it's about a three and a half hour drive so it's not too bad um, but we are leaving late tonight because I don't get off work until about 6 30. So we are really excited about that. Um, it is going to be our first trip together that we've taken just kind of a little getaway since we've been married so it'll be really exciting and i'm really excited to share it with you guys so i have all of my bathroom stuff packed in this victoria's secret bag it does really well when you pack it completely so full i have all my bathroom stuff that fits in there and this is actually for me and my husband everything fits in there so it's really not a bad size. And I also have all of my makeup in this bag right here, which I actually got as a gift from my stepmom probably two years ago, and I have not used a different makeup bag since. It just fits everything really, really well. It's like the perfect size so that your brushes aren't gonna get smashed, um, and you can just pack it really full, um, and I just think it's really cute. Alright, AC man, fix this up. It's not. We were told that there's only one of the three elevators that makes it to the 11th floor, which is the floor that we're on. And um, so we go and we're pressing in, there's this other guy waiting, and it just it's just kept saying B like for basement so I finally after like three minutes went and told them like hey I think that it's you know stuck in the basement so turns out two of the three elevators are out of order so we ride up to the 10th floor on one of them and had to carry our luggage up <laughs> the uh the flight of stairs and we get up here and it is like so hot it says that it's 68 degrees in here but there's there's no way so we had to call maintenance and uh i guess we'll see if we should unpack or not <laughs> oh there's maintenance now he goes he's like so uh i reset the unit and we may be providing you with a new room or or maybe a fan i'm like no on the 11th floor in july you don't just provide someone with a fan to keep them cool. Great day, Chase. That's what. <laughs> so, we got to stay in the same room um, because the AC is now cranking. I don't know what he did, but it's working. And now I'm freezing. Lighting. So, for some reason, light. our Wi Fi is not working. But. Like this yellow my color. relaxing I evening in. is watching it's vlogs like, well, so i am actually watching uh vlogs yeah, of my stepmoms right now if you like 
Good morning, guys. I guess I should say afternoon because we don't get up until like noon on accident. So we are getting ready to head out and go look at uh, the Baltimore Harbor. And I don't like carrying around a purse. So um, I am bringing this little bag that I got um, in, I think I got it in Guatemala or Honduras a long time ago on a mission trip. So it holds my phone, gum of course, um, both of our wallets, IDs, hotel cards, cash, um, what else, memory cards, chapstick, extra memory cards and lip gloss. And it will also carry my camera, which I'm going to put in this sock because my camera case is really, really big. So this thing is a lifesaver. I love it. So quaint around here. Oh, yeah. You got a bubble gum. You got a life seafood. I'm sure they have other stuff. These are so cute. This one, I wish we had a little dog. <laughs> Why? So that we can carry it around everywhere and stop and like a little let it pee when we're trying to have fun. King Cavalier. We decided on Uno's Pizzeria and Grill. <laughs> Do you want to split the deep dish? So right there is the National Aquarium, which we will be at later tomorrow. We're covering like the microphone. What's so significant about this harbor? I don't know. People just come here for like free reason. Yeah, I'm just going to start something else. that 500 million pounds of seafood are gotten out of, what, that area per year? No, just come through the harbor. And that's 2% of what it used to be. That's insane.
back there. Dying. You do? <laughs> Sad. Wow, it's so pretty. Is it? So it's poisonous? No? Poisonous, I want to have. <laughs> Got some Rita's lemon Italian ice from literally the rudest person ever, but well, I get to eat it now. I never have to see her again, so it's fine. What flavor did you get? Strawberry. It's not very good. Really? She probably spit in it. from what a few hours mine are better <laughs> oh yeah i'm gonna have to say yours are better but still i got some sun also i just realized that this place provides paul mitchell products so they don't have a working elevator working wi-fi or working AC, but if you want Paul Mitchell products, they got you covered. So we cannot decide where to eat because we're extremely indecisive. So we just decided to walk around and walk into place. Yeah, not PF chains. Despite my reluctancy. Seriously, why do you hate PF chains? It's too expensive, it's overrated. So, right here, is that whole thing the World Trade Center exhibit? What's on top of it? Oh, okay. So in there is an exhibit for the World Trade Center. And here are some beams that were part of the World Trade Center. And some of the metal. Outside, 
signal means something to those dolphins and will elicit a different behavior for them. So they have a large capacity. Same kind of thing as ice. And we can use a bunch of different toys. I know that Kelsey pointed out all of the toys that we have. Now those are types of, of reinforcement that we can use those. Now both of them involve her tail. And we're gonna see which one she does correctly. Now if she doesn't get you wet, that means she did it. <laughs> So all of this right here is just to keep all of that water filtered. So what do you think of all the 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 sea creatures? I think I wouldn't want to meet up with any of them. Not even the dolphins? Okay, no. Yeah, so I can meet so, up with Bailey. And I can be like we're one of the So same. tell me what you really feel. Because now you're just safe. <laughs> <laughs> we just left the National Aquarium. Did you have fun? Yeah. Lovely stamps, so we can go back. Um, spending more money we, to shop. Yeah. Well, we did this like. Um, okay. We did this um, like dolphin adventure thing in the morning, so we got like an up close look at like how they train them and stuff. And I'm really glad we did that because the show was like 15 minutes long. I mean, it was so cool, but yeah, we were there for like an hour. Good choice, babe. I'm glad you did it. I was right, thanks. I didn't want to get up at 8.30 in the morning. Well, yeah. be there at 8.30 in the morning, but that was good. It was fun. Good choice. So what time is it? Like 4 o'clock? 
Yeah, we left her four. And we were. Took a long nap. I said 30 minutes. So it what we were supposed to take a nap for like 30 minutes at like 1.30. Mm -hmm. It was like over two. It's four and we're just getting back out. Feeling rested. We got woken up by house cleaning. We're in the souvenir shop, and I think that I want to redecorate my entire kitchen just so that I can incorporate these adorable little balls. I'm so sad because I want this shirt and they don't have it in my size. I don't know why Zach would suggest this purchase for me. So I convinced Zach to stop and watch this wedding going on. So we are at P.F. Chang's right now and I am so stinking excited. Someone's excited. I'm so excited. My mouth is watering right now. But candy, candy store. Seriously, I haven't been here in like probably a year because somebody doesn't really like Chinese. Mm, starting off with my favorite lettuce wrap, which Zach has never tried before. Are you so excited? Three, is it safe to say that you're a fan? Yeah, first day. Oh, you'll love it even more. So we got Mongolian beef, Chang spicy chicken, and some steamed rice. Are you so excited? So if you ask my stepmom, she'll tell you that I'm truly Asian at heart. She's so right. Yeah, you don't even talk over eating. I've <laughs> been doing it too much. I'm going to talk to my rice now. Your delicious, perfect chin rice. Would you say P.F. Chang's is a success? Yeah. Are you a good. fan now? Yeah. Would you go back with me? I mean, not tomorrow, but yeah. Because now that I went up this flight of stairs, given that we don't really have a gym to work out in here, I feel like I probably worked off like like two bites of rice, maybe. You really had four bites of rice. Cool. Every ten seconds. <laughs> and here we are turning in at 8.43. Because life is expensive. Unless you want to pay for some drinks out, or unless you enjoy the nightlife. And I already found my special somebody, so I don't need to go on nightlife. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to go to the nightlife, do you? No. I don't want to spend $68. <laughs> oh, so it's only about the money. <laughs> yeah, just money. So Zach and I are just chilling here and he's like, like we decided that like we've seen pretty much everything that we can see in the harbor area without just like driving around everywhere and so we decided even though we paid for the hotel tonight, it's kind of pointless because we would be getting up super early like in order to avoid traffic. So I think we're just going to go home tonight and maybe have his parents over for like a brunch tomorrow. No traffic. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 
we're probably going to drive back tonight, but we were wondering if y'all wanted to come over tomorrow for lunch. Um, okay. Like a breakfast food kind of hey, brunch? Hey, it's my idea. I get to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Nitty, you trained your son so, so well. He's so kind. So, breakfast breakfast for lunch tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, love you. Love you too, bye. Bye. Well, Pack. let's get packing. Peace out, Baltimore. It's been fun, Baltimore. Let's go! <laughs> And then we decided to duck out early so that we can avoid traffic. And we called in about like 25 minutes in advance for our valet. And um, we got downstairs, we packed, got downstairs, and we waited what, 10 minutes to get our car, probably? Mm -hmm. 10 minutes, it yeah. We was parked out front, we were just waiting for the guy to come give us the key, our car. Anyway, we're on the road now. We had a fun time. So, peace out, Baltimore. Baltimore's nice hotel sucks. It's been fun!